The early days of the PlayStation was an interesting period for video games as we would get to see some very unique titles with games ranging from a variety of different genres that would see racing, platforming, RPG, fighting games and very obscure type of games that would all add something very unique to the popularity of the system that would inevitably help it to become one of the greatest consoles of all time. So with the games being released during this period it would prove to be definitely one of the most important times for the growth of the system and yet it would also be one of the most experimental in terms of overall 3D development in games and games released in Japan were definitely more noticeable in that aspect as games released in this region were very obscure yet very experimental to say the least and very few gamers out there know that boxing was also quite a popular concept with games especially in the early days of 3D and even on the PlayStation and there's quite a few of these type of games that are on the system that we never got in other regions which which is an interesting concept in itself and here with Boxer's Road that was released in 1995 was quite an early entry into the system itself that sold over 400,000 copies in its lifespan and the game was re-released in 1996 under the PlayStation best line or budget entry of games. The game would also see a release on the PlayStation Network in Japan on the PS3 back in 2007 and would also get another release on mobile devices later on and would see a follow-up sequel with Boxer's Road 2 on the Sony PSP in 2005. So this isn't just your typical boxing game, it also acts as more of a simulation experience that takes you through all of the processes that a fighter must utilise in order to prepare for upcoming fights, events and tournaments. So you pick a fighter from a range of different characters or character models that you can choose from. Then you have access to different options and features and stats and you have the ability to train and prepare certain outlays or plans for your fighter in order for them to grow, to get fitter, to get stronger so that they can have more stamina, more endurance, more overall strength and to even increase their dexterity, their flexibility and just their overall ability to fight in the ring. So it was a very unique concept for its time. If anything, there was very few games, if anything like it, on the console that gave you access to so many different features. As yes, the game was released in Japan and there is a language barrier which will be a struggle to quite a number of players. But if you put some time into it, you can kind of get a gist of what you're supposed to do. If you can figure out the control and understand some of the options. So once you've picked your fighter, you can change a different variety of hairstyles, skin colours, even the type of stats and attributes to a certain degree to get you started. And from there, you go through a program where you'll meet up with your coach or trainer and then you can prepare a plan or an outline for weeks or months at a time where you set up their meal plans, what they have for breakfast, what they have for lunch, what they have for their tea, pretty much an entire cycle of a health plan but then you also can fit in a training routine or regime for them as well so they can work on stamina they can work on weightlifting to increase their strength even get them into sparring matches where they can spar with other fighters before big events so that you can increase their skill level as a fighter overall so there's a lot of really cool concepts in this and those concepts were reflected in its results for its time although while the game did receive quite decent reviews in some cases got very high reviews and some magazines but there was elements where it was mentioned that there was somewhat of a letdown with regards to some of the slow and sluggish controls but we have to remember that this was a very very early boxing title boxing games were still not as well fleshed out on the system even though there was a lot of them out there there was very few that were released on the playstation that were considered really good that were fully playable to a certain degree now in saying that like i said if you put time into it you can get a lot out of it and when you do get into matches my you it will take a while to set up all of the processes and to go through all of the options because while you're doing all of the training and the eating plans you also have like a timer and you have to manually press certain buttons in order to proceed the time clock of the game itself so that you can prepare for a new fight and then when it comes up then you will jump into it so then you get involved in the fight sequences where you have to use a different combination of jabs punches uppercuts locks and just dodging moves which you can use with the shoulder buttons or the d-pad 
side and then you can punch using any of the X triangle square buttons so there's different combinations of moves that you can use some to good effect some you'll have to adapt to later you will notice as well because of the difficulty spike in the game your first couple of fights when you get into it you will find it a bit of a struggle but eventually once you get used to the mechanics and if you've got your fighter up to a standard where he's capable you can defeat opponents and in many cases you can win either through points or a knockout which I managed to do within my first couple of fights which I was very very surprised to do because I literally was getting smashed around the place but I still managed to win with an uppercut which was kind of crazy but I took that as a win but after that it just was downhill from there because I was the one that was getting knocked out pretty much in every fight but that's just the process because once you've won one fight don't think that it's going to be an easy process because you're going to be guaranteed that the next opponent is going to be 10 times tougher and much more advanced in terms of their boxing skills compared to the last opponent you faced and you will notice that very quickly because they will knock you down a lot earlier on in rounds than you would be used to so it's just a case of maintaining your consistency with your training and recovery times and your eating plans and just trying to adapt and evolve the whole time pretty much like a full-on real life training program so this game does try to reflect that what's kind of unique with this game as well is that it has all of those elements but it also gives you the opportunity during the fights to play from different points of view or camera perspective so you can change out the different camera views at different points either to go like a first person view like over the shoulder kind of third person and even from like almost like a fixed perspective view so you have different angles so that you can view everything in a very unique way that adds a whole layer of depth to the experience itself and in many ways while we consider many of these earlier games to not be as well polished or put together there was a lot of really unique and cool ideas in this that in many ways were ahead of its time but it just came at a time when obviously the controls and certain gameplay features just weren't as adaptable or as usable in many ways with that being said a lot of these elements wouldn't be later perfected until later generations and systems such as the sega dreamcast playstation 2 and even on modern consoles while the playstation did have a lot of boxing games the combat systems on them just weren't as well put together they still would take some time in order for that to work but this game still proves to be an interesting concept and it had some really really good ideas yes it will take a while to get into it but if you do put some time into it there is an enjoyable experience Experience to be had from it and for a very early game it's quite surprising that it's a lot better than you would think it is like don't let the simplistic graphics and that fool you there's a lot of really in-depth features in this game that's well worth checking out and if you've played many boxing games on the system i would recommend that you give this one a go it's very different to a lot of the other ones that's out there and you might be surprised you might enjoy it so i would love to know your thoughts on this if you have played it yourself or did you know anything about it back in the day and if so what do you think of the game overall so be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be updated on future videos and if you would like to see more content around other games similar to boxers road or other types of boxing games also released on the playstation check out the playlist on screen to see more of those games in action and as always keep those gaming memories alive